What is going on guys? So today I wanted to show you these puppy teething rings. Uh, these are by Enbone. Okay. Now these are very uh, specific. I, I purchased these. We're, get, we're getting a brand new puppy here pretty soon. Uh, these became highly recommended for us for a lot of different reasons, both from our vet and from people that we know that got the, that use them. Um, basically, this is going to be similar to a rawhide, you know, like a rawhide chew toy. However, with puppies, you don't want to give them rawhide. It's not a healthy thing for them. Um, they can chew it. They can't digest it properly. It's really not a good thing for them. This stuff is not rawhide. This is fully digestible by puppies. Um, you do, however, you don't Oh, this is not for puppies. I believe it's, uh, what is it, 12 weeks, I think is kind of the way. Um, this is like a 12-week product. So once your puppy's at 12 weeks, um, this is something that you should be able to give them. Um, this, these have calcium that you know for their teeth and their bones. They got DHA for healthy brain development. There's no wheat, corn, or soy added to these whatsoever. The cool thing is, is that this also sort of satisfies, the, you know, because puppies, as their teeth are starting to come in, just like babies, you know, babies have teething rings, same kind of thing. It's going to help them kind of want to chew. They're going to want to chew stuff. And this is a healthy thing for them to chew instead of chewing things that they're not supposed to be chewing in your home. Um, these guys are, this is the, uh, this is the chicken flavor, as you can see here. Um, it has very, very basic ingredients. You can kind of take a look at that and break down. Shows you the amount of feeding. So based on, you know, the weight of your puppy, um, you give them, you know, you can determine how much you can give this, uh, how much of these rings you can give them. Um, you can cut them into pieces and give them small bites, things like that. But let me open one up and I'll show you what it looks like out of the package. So now out of the package, you can actually, you can see it is, it isn't a rawhide, right? It's not a rawhide product. It's not, it doesn't look like that. It's actually more of like a, um, it almost looks like, like a licorice pull. It's, it's a little bit softer. It has a little bit of pliancy to it. I can actually kind of bend it a little bit and flex it. Um, the nice thing is you could cut this up into pieces again, especially if you have a smaller breed, a smaller puppy, smaller size, you can cut this into pieces to give them something that's a little bit smaller. You don't need to give them this whole ring, but as the puppy grows, gets a little bit older, you can definitely give them this and let them chew on it. Um, it has, you know, it's kind of a two-tone color, um, you know, and it just seems like something that they would like to chew. Their teeth are going to be able to kind of sink into this a little bit, which is nice. So that should help relieve that need to chew and bite, um, you know, on stuff just because their teeth are uncomfortable. So um, if you're looking for it's just a really good product that is going to be great for your teeth, uh, for your puppy's teeth, I should say, not yours. Um, definitely give these guys a check out. Um, the price wise on Amazon, they're a fantastic price and they have really great ratings. So um, again, definitely check these guys out. But as usual, guys, hopefully this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.